This is the sixth in a series of training bites covering the control and customization of UVM reports. If you haven't already, we recommend you take the basics training bite first for some basic information about terminology, functionality, and guidelines for reports. But in this training bite, we'll show you how to modify report characteristics using a UVM report catcher. So some of the reasons why we may want to change our reports. Perhaps I have a report from inside of my UVM library. I want to change perhaps its severity, but I don't want to modify the source code of the UVM library. Perhaps I have also reports from a particular UVC IP block, which are wrong or inconsistent or used in the wrong way. I want to be able to fix these. And I want to make these changes for every simulation run in a way which is invisible to the test writer. So they don't have to remember to put in certain command line options or certain method calls to apply these changes. So we need to be careful about what we're doing here. If you want to change the report characteristics, but you're happy with the formatting of the report output, we can use a report catcher. These can change any characteristic, and we can have multiple catchers applying to different parts of our hierarchy, but you can't change the report format. If you want to change the report format during live debug, during the course of a simulation, then we'll need a report server instead. Uh, this can change any characteristic and also can reformat the report output, but you can only have one report server in action at a time. If you want to reformat your outputs post-simulation, for offline debug, then it's probably a good idea to use something like a Perl script, but that's beyond the scope of this class. We're going to have a look at the report catcher in this training byte. So what does a report catcher do? Now when you execute a report, it's sent to a handler for processing. And what the catcher does is intercept the report on the way to the handler. And the catcher can do one of two actions. It can either modify the report and then throw the modified report onto the handler for processing, for printing example, or we can suppress the report by catching it, which means it's not passed to the handler, which means it's not processed and it's not output. Now, a catcher is something called a UVM callback. This allows us to have multiple catchers. And actually, we can feed the output of one catcher into another, so we can process our reports in a serial fashion if we wanted to. Now, we're going to give you a brief overview of the report catcher in this training byte. If you want more detailed information, there's a separate training byte, Modify Any UVM Report Using a Report Catcher. If you search for this title on support.cadence.com, there's a little bit more information about catchers in that byte. So, what can we change with the report catcher? So you can modify the characteristics of your report, such as severity, ID, the action, or a message itself. We can make the verbosity higher. We can't necessarily make it lower, because if your report is not being processed because of your verbosity setting, it can't be caught, and therefore it can't be modified. We can suppress the report entirely by issuing the catch action. Uh, we can apply these changes uh, to a single component or to a certain part of the hierarchy or globally to every component in our UVM environment if we want. And we can apply these changes conditionally. So you can pick up the characteristics about a certain report and just modify a single report. So let's show you an example. So here's the output of a randomization failure. Now this comes from inside of the UVM library itself so we can't modify it directly. And it always kind of bothered me that this was a warning message. I'd quite like to make it an error message instead. So what I need to do is to find something unique about this report. And we can see that it has a severity of UVM underscore warning, and it has an ID of RNDFLD, randomization failed. So what I can do is I can declare my report catcher. I extend from a UVM report catcher class. It has a constructor with a single name argument, and we're going to implement the function catch. Inside of here, we can use get methods to find information about our report to pick up the ID, RNDFLD, and the severity, UVM warning, which uniquely identify the report that we want to modify. And when those conditions are true, we can change the severity of the report to a UVM underscore error. And then we can return the throw action to pass the modified report onto the handler so it can be printed. 
So now, when we apply this capture, my randomization failure report is upgraded to an error, and I've made the change I wanted to. So to apply the catcher, first of all we need to create instances of the catchers we're going to use, and then in a suitable phase method, here start of simulation phase, you need to add the catchers into the simulation environment. And we do this by calling the static method add of the class UVM report CB, where CB stands for callback. Now these add methods have two arguments. The first argument is the scope, the context to which you're applying the catcher instance. If your scope is null, it means it's applied globally in all parts of your hierarchy. So catcher is applied as a global catcher. Uh, here UVC1F is going to be applied just into the hierarchical block tb.uvc1, resolved from the test class itself. There's an alternative to the add method, which is add by name. This allows us to define the path name as a string, which then allows us to have wild cards in that path name, which we can affect multiple parts of the hierarchy. Now, the add by name has an additional third argument, the context argument, and that is the scope from which the string path name is resolved. So context here is null, so that path name is resolved from the topmost point of our UVM environment. Again, there's other options to delete callbacks dynamically or reorder callbacks. Check the documentation for full options. So hey, this training byte covered customization with the report capture. In the next and final byte in the series, we'll have a look at customization with the report server. Mm -hmm.